Hey. Hello. So now we are live. Hello, India. It's been hey, nice to see you again. Yeah, it's been half a year since we done the last podcast, and uh, today I hopefully we'll have a great conversation. Uh, were there some changes in your life for this half a year? So, at the beginning of the year, I started sewing, and that was because I try to learn two new skills every year. It doesn't matter what it is. So. I just know that I'm doing sewing and then let's say from June, I might learn how to use a different tool and what kind of tool, time will tell. So whatever opportunity opens up, I'll just like pick, yeah, I'll pick it up and then we'll see where we go from there. Um, besides that, yeah, go for, go for it. Do you do it, do you do it like every, every day or like some schedule mm. or what, one, once a week, no, two times a week? No, it's more like what well, I when I used to study it, I went twice a week for a few months. And then when I bought my own machine, my, my own sewing machine, then it became a sort of, oh, I'm in the mood to make myself a new thing. And the process can take a lot of time. Um, I tried to set a record and I made two pieces of clothing that I was kind of happy with, but there were many mistakes, but I cut a lot of corners um, and I did those in five hours. But now whenever I make the same thing, I can spend seven to 10 hours just on one piece to make it like exactly how I want it. And not to make mistakes is difficult, but you just need to make sure that you Every part is important, did, so you did, cannot cut corners. And... Did you attend a special school here in, in Kaluga? No, I've got a relative who is a teacher, and she's mm. been sewing her whole life, <laughs> so she can teach me anything. But I've I only need a few things, and I mean the bed sheet. If well, mm -hmm. yeah. So check out the bed sheet. That's, but um, all me. And like, oh, yes, I'm that smart. Like you, you've got the thing that hides it, and ah, that's awesome. great. All okay. you need, all you like, all you need is seven meters of material. Like this is satin. Um, so I, the reason I began sewing as with anything in my life is I see how people do things, and I'm like, why are you doing it in such a bad way? So. <laughs> With, with music, with English, with a lot of things. Um, so, so, so for me, when I go to the shops and you look at the material and say, oh, first of all, it doesn't even look good. Second of all, it's made out of crappy materials. So I'm like, let's see if I can learn how to sew. And I think I know how to sew. And so this is basically the, the whole bed sheet set is seven material, seven. So you buy the material, and it's super easy. This is the easiest thing you can do because it's all straight lines and like, there's no thinking. There's a little bit of thinking, fine. So um, what, is your, what is your next skill for this year? Is it? Oh, I, uh, I said, I have no idea. It, uh, so I can, don't can decide to how to drive. Nah, we'll see. Well, as I said, whatever opportunity opens up. What, by, was, what was the last year skills? Mm. Well, I don't think about the past, so I don't, I'll have to look it up because the, honestly, most things that you can ask me is like, oh, what about tomorrow? I'm like, I have no idea. Let me look at my phone. I don't care what's happening tomorrow. I don't care what happened yesterday. Uh, I don't even care what's happening in like three hours because my schedule gets changed every minute. It can change at any minute. So I can be expecting to be busy for 10 hours tomorrow and then only get two hours or to expect three hours and be busy for the whole day and not have any sleep so i just i just live if if something happens i usually say yes mm -hmm. but i'm very picky i'm yeah i'm very picky do you have some some notebook where you put your like right right there 
Oh, on my phone? phone. Oh, okay. But, yeah, because I, like, all of the information I need is on my phone. How's about your? It's, it, you, you need to be organized. A lot of people do not know how to use their mobile phones, and I'm. I don't have any unnecessary um, applications. I don't have any malware. I like, I'm, I'm always even like my wallpaper. It's black, and the reason it's black is because it saves battery because it doesn't use well. If you have a good screen, then the um, OLED screens. I believe that's the technology. When you have an OLED screen, your the actual pixels they don't turn on. So first of all, you get a blacker black, so a more natural black in your screen, and that's very important when you deal with color and design. Um, and uh, you save energy. So my whole phone is just black, 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 black. And I've been doing this for many, many years. And finally, the gods of internet have blessed us with an almost universal thing, dark mode. Well done. <laughs> when you even go into Sberbank and you're like, oh, yay, I'm happy for you, it, uh, people. And yeah, so common like common sense is in common so you said you're living like in present moment no yeah. no no future no past uh, i don't care what's in the future and i don't want to yeah, and i don't need to know what was in the past i can uh, i can set plans but that's we'll see what happens yeah uh i i'd like to talk about it a little bit more like since for me it's kind of different so i cover like you know i'm trying to live in all dimensions and for me i don't distinguish between past and future and uh now so this idea of determinism that uh, there is no difference between past and future and everything is just one like, like you you basically watch a movie and uh, the whole life is just a movie already recorded and uh so you don't you you, you have no free will you know this idea you you, you don't make choices what do you think about that? Like how? I believe that we are sometimes put in situations that are outside of our control, but you are the final receiver. Um, so anything can happen around you and you, you decide whether it bothers you honestly, whether it doesn't bother you, whether you want to take some kind of action or whether you just want to give up. Yeah, but uh, you like, have you always have the final choice. Like, should husband to you in your life? I'm like, there is fate. Uh, okay, so fate. But my 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 fate is to like meet a person, but I decide in the end what I do with that person. Yeah. Okay. So let's okay. say let's say so you 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 see. Uh, so first of all, for me, life is a game. Mm -hmm. Um, life life is a game, and then you for you, for you in. In your interpretation, you may say that the line is the, the game is very, very linear. Like you have to go level one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For me, my life, if we talk about how my game is set up, I have like multiple choices everywhere. So the, the there are there is one beginning and millions of endings. And I just like like I, like I do my snakes. I like do whatever things I do, and they end me either here or there. And neither is good or bad. It's just either here or there, <laughs> and neither is good or bad. It's yeah, but how how is is that like? Uh, let's play just simple game, right? So tell me just one word, anything, any word. Roof, roof, roof. So uh, let's suppose that now uh, we get back in time. And I ask you to, to the same question. And uh, my question is, like, would it be different? And could it be different? Would it have a different name? Different, different word. Well, if we go back enough, there won't be any roofs. No, no I mean, look, uh, you said a roof, right? Yeah. Uh, could you say something else? No, that's, no, no. At that, at that moment, at that moment when I asked you, could you say you said there's more? Like you decide what to say. Wait, so, uh, you mean we go past? No, wait. You mean we go back into the past a few minutes ago, not like fifty years ago? Yeah. No, I, I mean. Oh, okay. Like, so we go back a few minutes. Okay. I well, no, I don't think so. I would have said roof because I'm. 
looking at a room. <laughs> it's obvious. <laughs> no, but the whole idea is that you don't decide uh, what to say, right? So you, it's like uh, it was determined by our previous conversation, by your environment, by uh, by my environment, of by, by by yes, by, the, the, by by the entire day. I mean, uh, like maybe entire your life. So if we just okay. uh, like if we trace it back, there is no way for you to to say different words since you are all all neurons in your head all. Like you know, everything what, what, what everything was the same, and uh, your yeah. decisions in the same way. So if you uh, decide to do something, it's like your decision is already predetermined by uh, previous uh, decisions which you made. And in this case, it's like the whole under, the whole notion of choice makes uh, very little sense since you don't when choose. You, you just follow. When the, you say that, yeah. Sorry. When you say that the decision from the past, yeah, decisions from the. the if you make a wrong decision in your past, you that influences you and in no, future. no, no. You can't. You can't make. A, they have no correlation. You can't make a wrong decision. It makes no sense. A wrong decision. You, you make the, the left or the right. You make the other decision. You, okay. You you get the other. If you take the other decision, uh, it has consequences. You cannot. You cannot have a child with your ex if you broke up with them. And you decided to break up with her because there are times where you decide. Yeah, but you decide. couldn't de you couldn't decide it otherwise. That's the idea. So it's like if you decided to break uh, up. No, 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 no. There was a, there was a, there was a flip of a coin. Uh, well, you're going to say that's environmental. I'm like, <laughs> no, it's more it's more it's more about you know. Uh, uh -huh. We started with this past and future, right? So you may think about mm. past as something that is already happened. You can change the past, yeah. right? But you think, oh, but I can change the future. So if no, I you can't. You, you can't, you can't change the future. Well, you may choose different. The future doesn't exist. No, the future doesn't exist. What okay, do you, you may change. You you, 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 may make a decision, which mm -hmm. may affect the future. And in one case, you end up in uh... all decisions. Yes, but they all have. Yeah, whatever we do now has an effect on the future. For sure. Yeah, but how the choice then possible? So you say you you have a choice and you decide. But uh, if the past all already predetermined, and uh, if the or like already happened, you can change it. And the future doesn't exist. <laughs> where the choice came from? Right, right from this moment, from right now, from being here. That's that's it. Just from being here. Because you make the choice in the moment, you cho you choose to flee or fight, you or to freeze, you choose to go somewhere or not to go somewhere, and that's when the decision is made at this real moment, and that's why it's easier to argue about multi universes where. Whenever you make a new decision, you create two more universes, they split off and blah, 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 blah. Like, you can't really argue against that point. But do you even need to think about those things? Like, oh, some people believe in reincarnation and they like have strong arguments. And you being unequipped with arguments against that doesn't mean that you have to follow them. If you give a shit, do the research. If you don't, then just like, oh, okay, those crazy people can do that shit. Where well, like you, you don't. So that, that it's an interesting idea, but I don't agree with it. And I think like I make the choice right now. So mm -hmm. I've recently made a few choices, and I'm now in the process of making choices to change what I am, because I I can't change what I will be. I can't change what I was. I like I, I want to change what I am by doing things right now mm -hmm. for a better for a possibly better or worse future i cannot know like one of the good examples is <laughs> with my great investment it, it was a good it was a good thing but unfortunately i could have it could have been a better thing um so when i doubled my money instead of timesing it by 100 or whatever um 
And it's like, okay, so if I would have made a lot more money, I might have bought a car and crashed. But I didn't make that money. Mm -hmm. I only doubled it and I didn't spend it as lavishly and continued bit by bit doing small investments. And now finally, there's only a few years to go and ready to retire. <laughs> so I, I, I guess in this case, you probably on this side of compatibilism, like, you know, in the philosophical uh, arguments, there's determinism and uh, mm -hmm. indeterminism and compatibilism, which says that you basically simultaneously uh, make choices, but uh, the whole the world revolves the around the, like the, the, yeah, the world chain the chain of uh, causes and effects is still there so and uh, well it's it's very it's, it's very hard to argue i mean you still you still may say it feels certainly that you decide what to say oh, what the choice yes what, because what to you, do, you, but you... when you reflect on it, when you reflect on it later it may it's it's very hard to say that you actually made the choice so it's like in this in the present moment it seems that it's uh, like you who make choices but when you think about it later you see that everything you said everything you've done it was it it could it, it could go only in this one direction like and for me uh, as i as i said like it's kind of liberating since you're basically not responsible for anything you do and uh, then you're just being yeah, then you're not taking responsibility for your own life and you're letting it yeah exactly because it uh, responsibility oh. makes no sense from this perspective so basically uh but it's not kind of, you know, it's not that, oh, I don't take responsibility and I'm just going <laughs> to, you know, give up on life or, you know, do nothing. It's uh, just, oh, that's, it's, it's, it's exactly the opposite. So you understand that you're not responsible. You see clearly what's going on and you follow the course and you basically determine, you know, the word, deter the word, an adjective determined yeah. basically means that you just do, do what you're supposed to do without being distracted by anything else. Yes, but if you truly live with, uh, if you if you if you truly live by that motto, then why would you care about anything? So if you see a a, a lost child, why would you help? Because you'd be like, have ah, fucking faith, F fate, fate, like fate will deal with them. It's not my problem. Well, no, you no, 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 you 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 actually why don't see no. To no, you don't think. You just react like it's just the natural way of you know. You you wouldn't uh, think like why would I, would I do something? It's just you, you either like help a child or you're not. And then later you will think, oh, probably I helped him because you know I I'm such a good person. Or if you don't think, if you don't help, you will think something like what you described. You basically uh, justify it by giving some reasons why you didn't do that. But essentially, it's more. You know this idea of uh, determinism. It's uh, you know you start just seeing things more clearly. Like you understand, you care about reasons. You care about why something happened, why something is going on, uh, why I'm doing what I'm doing. Like what's the purpose? And you start seeing like uh, when you believe in free will, in choices. You basically may say, mm -hmm. oh, it's like if I uh, made the different choice, things will be uh, in it like better or worse so you start uh, playing some kind of game so if i did that it would lead to this if i did that it would lead to that but uh when you look at the world through this lens you understand that there was no choice and you try to figure out what uh, caused a certain action what caused a certain event and you start really think like uh from perspective of there there was no choice something led to this i have to figure out what it was to not repeat it in the future or if it's something good mm -hmm. like i have to figure out how i get there to get it even like to go even further ahead to make something even better mm -hmm. and you know i was thinking recently about this idea and I, this question like meaning of life so what is the meaning of life i usually find I myself <laughs> i usually find myself thinking about it and i try to uh try to imagine what was the like let's suppose that uh, there's determinism is true and there's no way of making choices what's the meaning of life then like if everything is predetermined what should i do and i came up with an idea of describing uh things as clearly as possible so the most 
accurate description of uh, reality what's going on and just it seems perfect like it seems well quite interesting anyway <laughs> uh you know this week i'm studying the concept of irony <laughs> i've recently had something very ironic happen to me well i'm would i say it? yes 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 because yeah i would say that's very ironic but and it, it is has and it does have to do something with a flat so i was in a situation in a specific style of a flat that i already was in and it's just that was interesting. That's that's what that's what you get when you live in Russia. Like many many places, apparently look like each other. Mm -hmm. Why why why? why the next instance, yeah. Why is it ironic? Can you can you explain? <laughs> because well, for me, ironies, coincidences that. I enjoyed the irony even while I was in the place. Like I realized, oh my God, I'm doing the exact same mistake in a very particular environment. And uh, let's see, it, let's see what happens next. And it, it, it was as if I was replaying a level from the past. Uh -huh. um, and let, let's say that I got a higher score. I didn't win. I got a higher score and the whole situation ended better. But still, and I'm and I'm happy. I'm I'm happy with the end. So, yeah, uh, this like I, I've just read an article in Wikipedia. Uh yeah, and I and I'm supposed to probably watch some lectures in the like on this week. But the whole idea, like the irony, basically it's like the difference between what's going on and uh an appearance and what the, what what it is really uh, like in essence mm. so for example uh you know this socratic example of irony like socrates the famous uh greek philosopher yeah. so basically he he uh, uh had these uh, conversations with uh people and he pretend that he is like a different person so basically he tried to play a fool in these conversations and people uh try people was just you know uh taking him, him seriously but he wasn't serious at, like never he just tried to play a kind of game and because uh, of his reputation yeah and the irony so is they like, knew who he was and so you basically think that this is what's going on but in reality it's just uh it's just an appearance but in essence there's something different is going on and then I, I i i'm actually interested in this concept also since we have these group meetings once a week and often mm -hmm. i see that you now when you communicate with people for a long time you develop some kind of you no know, i wouldn't call it dialect but still some kind of deeper understanding and when there's new people uh, often they you may you may say something that only uh cert, like only uh, those who visit the club for a long time can understand and other people can see it and there's the kind of you get used to the person you just get used to the way he pronounces so yeah but sometimes it's uh, sometimes it's uh, you know there's kind of two levels of communication so on the on the uh, one level you may say something and you actually don't mean it and on the other on the other level uh people some people may see it what you like what you said just makes you know you don't mean you don't mean what you said but other people who uh don't communicate with you for a long time they they don't see it so it's like you create some kind of uh different some kind of difference and uh it's kind of funny so i mean like the whole the whole, the whole idea that there may be a several levels of communication and you may basically communicate with the whole group on the different levels maybe not just two levels but maybe like five levels or seven levels Maybe as many levels as uh, how many people are here present in the conversation. So we, we may have a conversation with you at the speaking club, and uh, we may have a dialogue, and there are like another dialogue uh, between like two other members, and mm -hmm. we may perceive a conversation as like we are talking about dialect, right? 
but uh, other people may perceive a conversation as if it's like it's <laughs> it's a discussion about something something completely irrelevant mm -hmm. and an irony is like all, always may you know it may go very deep, deep very deep anyway mm -hmm. tell me about like your uh you said that you are going to go to tula <laughs> you just announced it to everyone thank you <laughs> that was a secret okay <laughs> well, well i i guess well, it was it really a secret no yeah like i wasn't really announcing it to people like yeah i'm going to tour because of family again i want to spend a couple more years with yeah I, I i i may listen i may cut it if it's like um if no no no, 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 no. okay okay uh, so but uh uh what, what what did yeah. I want to ask? Yeah, I want to ask like uh, you know about teaching. You like you also you also told me that you are going to finish uh, this uh, you know course course. Yeah. And uh, then stop teaching. Yeah. Well, or if I am going to be teaching, and again, first time I don't teach, I consult. Yeah, I yeah. Consultation. Yeah. So <laughs> no. <laughs> Elon Musk is the what, what's his title? I think it's like the coin master. He has a new title. Yeah. Um, coin master? Coin master. No, no, no. He's the tech king. Elon Musk is the tech king of Tesla. And then there's a coin master, which is like the FCO, so the financial financial director, basically. Um, never mind. So I can say that I'm consultant if I want to say that I'm consultant because I consult. I am here to hold, like, to show doors and people learn. Um, and I just show them really easy doors and easier doors than what is available currently pretty much in most places. And it's disappointing how bad the English is in Russia. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing my best. I want to, I want to teach say in five years in five years i want to teach at least half a million children to a level where they can speak as children so not like adults of course no so, so that they can come to our meetings and we can talk to them but they're not going to be able to really participate in our deep thought meanings and they, they're not really appropriate for children anyway so that's my mission is to give as many children the opportunity to learn. Half, you said half, a, me, half a million half a million i want mm -hmm. in five years mm -hmm. i want to do in five years half a million children um for you there's there's i'm big i'm doing step by step by step by step and it, it just, so i've got two years to do most of the work and then the three years is going to be like you need two three years to get to a good level like with i've done it i have a i have an eighth grader who's been learning with me for less than two years and she came with a good base not a horrible base not, not a great base but she came with a good base and we're like okay so i know exactly what to do now she does she does the, the, the most difficult task in Yege, which is year 11 English, um, which is way too difficult. It shouldn't be that difficult. Like the exams that they have for English are too difficult for the level of English that is in Russian schools. Um, and nobody in classes gets fives or fours unless they have a tutor or a consultant or a teacher. Um, it's impossible. Or you have like a parent who's from America or England, maybe. Maybe you'll get a four or a five. Uh, anyone else who has a four or five are just keep t teachers' pets um, and they don't know English. And even those who have fours and fives, they cannot speak. And it's disappointing. So I, 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 I'm, I cannot teach Chinese. I know that I think that children should need English, Arabic, Chinese. If they live in Russia, well, congratulations, you know Russian. But I don't think that Russian is. But we'll see. But if you're in Russia, you might as well make sure that your children know English. Second, I will say Chinese and then Arabic. Those are the three languages that are the minimum. You do not need French. You do need, please do not learn German. Whoever is learning German is wasting their time. 
That's, I disagree. <laughs> I think there are German lots German is a waste of time. There is no reason to know. There is no reason. Well, there are lots of communication. For communication. There is no reason to learn German to communicate in the future. That's it. Yeah, well, you may read lots of literature, and most of literature is still uh, written in German. So if you like, oh no, it's most of it is translated already, and there's not many left. Plus, in the future, I said to communicate. So to yeah, to communicate, yeah, probably. Future, German is useless. Spanish is useless. Italian, they are yeah, they're easy to learn. But what what's the reason? Why would you learn? Yeah, like it's let's... the same thing. I know five languages, and you know Russian, Ukrainian, Belarusian, po what Polish. Okay, they're a bit different, but. Let's uh, let's get back to this, you know, teaching, teaching or consulting. Mm -hmm. So you you're gonna abandon like in two years. You're gonna stop. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna private, do pri private 10%, lessons. Ten percent, ten percent of what I do now. Ten percent. Yeah. And ninety percent, like focusing on uh, other projects, like, other things, uh -huh. sewing, fashion. I. I want I want to I want to work with um, leather. I want to. We'll see what happens. It's, it's like I, I've got so much in front of me that I. But how, if like, I want to do jewelry, I'll do jewelry. How are you going to like teach half a half a million people, like children, to speak? Afterwards, uh, afterwards. No, no it's like you said, five, in five in five years, it's kind of your yeah. purpose to teach yeah. half a million. Yeah. Half a million That's people. Michael, so yeah. you're gonna uh, upload some content on the internet, or I'm already doing that. I'm already doing that. Yeah, so yeah. But the, the, uh -huh. but how, how you are you gonna reach this uh, like this um, amount of amount of children, like five half a half a million from social media? Uh -huh. Because children are more reluctant. Reluctant. Wait, no. <laughs> Uh, basically, they are more willing. Children are more willing to share content if they think it's really good. And when I engage with my content, with my comments, and when I look at who's watching my videos, I can see that they are sharing it to other people, and people are coming because of their friends. So the more I do, it's it's just a, it's the snowball effect, and I know that. I'm, in five years, I might have way more than five million for five hundred people following me. But I would want to. I would be. I would hope that they have learned English just by going through all of the content, and and by going by the plan, because I've been teaching for so long. I know exactly like things that have to be done. There's no specific order, so it's more like a menu. So what do you want? Like out of all of this, what do you want? You can do this today, that tomorrow, this again after the day, and then we need to try and do this once. Then we do this and this and this. Then we go back to this. And so I, it's pure experience. It's pure. And I know I won't be able to give the individual um, the, the same individual feeling, but I will be able to give the knowledge which is going to be in a way better form than it is currently available to those children, to many millions of children in Russia. Yeah, I so if I get at least half a million in five years, that I'll be, I'll be, I'll be sad. If I do less than half a million in five years, I'll be disappointed with myself. That's yeah. Uh, I think I, I think it's uh, you know my it's like from my point of view, it's overestimation since when you have private lessons, uh, you have relationships, and you really may teach like uh, children learn. Not because uh, they are exposed to certain content, but because they want to communicate with you. They want to work with you. But when you just give them content, it's well. If you personally will work with them, like, but how how are you going to work with five hundred thousand people? That's the question. But if it's just the content, everything I is guess, possible. Yeah, I guess. Well, it, it's 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 possible to create a you know like kind of linguistic Meetings. map, linguistic map when children just go and uh, share the content with each other and learn by themselves but i guess it takes like two years man <laughs> it's it's yeah so it, takes, it's like 50, it, it, it takes like 50 years 50 and probably you may do something to do the basics to do the basics, no, not basics to but to speak to, basics? no 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 to, on, no no no, no, no not for you i mean to engage children and learning without uh without a relationship without uh like no, disagree disagree creating the I, I, I see, I see. 
creating the course or the program? Disagree. Children, so I see how children interact with social media. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see it firsthand. And they, if, if they have somebody who's an authority figure, somebody who has helped them or explained something to them, they tend to be loyal and they listen to that person. So mm-hmm. an audience is an audience. And the audience with time grows up. And if you were really good with your audience, the audience remembers about you. Uh, and if you're still around, then it's, 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 just, it's just things you learn in business. And customer quality, customer service. Customer service is super important. You need to be super oriented on the customer. Like, what do, I, I, what do you think you want? Uh, and let me tell you what you need. <laughs> So tell me what you think you want, and I'll tell you what you need. And that's how I work. And if it, it doesn't work for everyone, it doesn't work for you, I'll get a different child. Um, but I would, I would try to have at least half a million children being able to say that, oh, yeah, I, I can speak English a lot better now because I've been watching Andy's videos. That would, that would, that would be... The, the goal is to teach, it's not, nothing else, like to, to give the opportunity to children who are from families who aren't with two parents or like disadvantaged so children are, I want to give back because I've been learning my whole life and I've learned so much that I actually can look back at my experience and say, oh wow, I can teach so many people so many things. And that's that's a nice feeling to that I first I have the energy to do it and it gives me pleasure. Like I used I knew that like doing good things to other people makes you happy. And I was like, that's stupid. But no, it's, it's yeah, I, I guess I'm happy because of it. So I need a five minute break. Mm-hmm. Is it okay? Yeah, sure. Sorry. Okay. See you in five. So now it's recording again. Yeah, I I, I paused our ah, recording. Uh, I was also like working recently on on, the, on an English course, and uh, I guess next uh, next month, maybe at the end of this month, I'm gonna give uh, start giving lectures in the Innovation Culture Center, and it's like one course. There's mm-hmm. fifteen uh, fifteen lectures. It's like 15, 15 lectures and each lecture it's uh, probably a, a few hours long and uh, maybe a little bit less mm-hmm. maybe uh, 90 minutes and the whole course is based on mm-hmm. the technique like it's more it's more it's not it's not about studying language it's more about studying yourself so the whole idea is that mm-hmm. you use language to study yourself you don't you and you don't use it for communication you basically use it for mm-hmm. thinking and do you think do you use the i am idea i am no i use i use uh, like the first I, I, I may i may just uh like give you the uh, the first somebody came <laughs> uh the first okay. there's like uh, some techniques the first technique for example and it's not just one technique there are many techniques but the idea is to to, to learn to control your attention with a foreign language with english and uh you basically start from learning the places where you are, uh, where you are usually find. Like, <laughs> what's what, what's the jest means? Like, <laughs> don't come here. <laughs> I'm speaking. I'm busy. <laughs> so the whole idea is there's some like uh, every day you are are in different places. So you are in your yeah. room, you are in the street, you are in your at work, you are in bathroom, in kitchen, wherever. So you start by learning the places, and uh, you learn like by asking the question, "Where am I?" So the first, like the the whole the whole cor- course starts from the question, "Where am I?" So you learn where, where am I, and then you your goal is to ask this question uh, at least like fifty times a day and uh, find all places where you are it's like you don't 
uh, make them up. So you basically like every every time when you change the location, you just oh, okay. This is this place is called what? what? How many times? Well, as many as how, you can. How many times? As many as you can, but uh, ideally Perfect like free. ideally like fifty times uh, fifty times a day, so that you just you use language. Fifty. 50. Is it a lot? two places <laughs> come on come on no it's like uh the whole idea is that you start you start using language from the very like the first day and you start using it every day for for a lot of time and then you but like, if you, you don't know the words if you don't know the word no how can you, you say i am in a room in a room well you 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 write you you write like you take a paper like like that mm -hmm. You write down uh, every places where you. What if you lose the paper? What if what if you lose the paper? What do you do? <laughs> You've lost the paper. You you write another one. So that's why my <laughs> students do everything on their phone. No, okay, you may you, 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 you may write on the phone, but basically, you write it on the paper. Take a picture. The, the take, take a picture. You write it on paper. Take a picture. Always, always take you know, a picture of things after, you need to read. After 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 a week, you will remember all places. So if you if you even if you repeat this question like ten times a day, after a week you will know all places where you are. Uh, do, 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 like yeah. all places, and then your goal is just control your attention, use the language to and to be aware. Like when you change the places, and that's the first technique. It sounds simple, but it doesn't take you a lot of time. Just a few five minutes a day, but it helps you to really to start. To start using the language every day and then you basically start you know filling the place with some meaningful meaningful actions so you learn what you do you like okay when i'm in the room what am i doing like i'm sitting on the computer i cleaning up my room i reading a book i you know doing all sorts of shit. and you just learn all all actions in all places and it's like it doesn't help you to understand the language you can you won't be able to uh watch some video and, and the, but it will help you but you're using it yeah you're using it and then gradually you develop a desire to learn like everything else so at first it's just after like in a in a few months you are supposed to learn how to use it like 10 15 minutes a day and then you uh -huh. gradually develop this understanding of uh, you know who you are what yeah. you are doing and what do, what kind of information do you really need and then you learn this information and then you develop a natural interest so and so yeah, when, is I, the course starting? What? What? when is it starting well i'm planning to start it at the end of may or probably uh, maybe at the beginning of june so i need an audience see the, the point is uh i can start it right now but uh, i i i want at least like 20 30 people uh did you did you have to say that number like you had to what <laughs> my favorite number 20 20 <laughs> no, no I... okay children this is how you don't say it i'm not doing it on purpose but children so we do not say it like that we say 20 20 20 20 20, 20. yes and instead of so, so what comes after monday what what comes up what, what what is after monday tuesday tuesday yes not tuesday tuesday right? tuesday yeah tuesday sure anyway tuesday thank you much. so the course begins at the end of may and how long is it for the whole summer ah 15 weeks okay 15 15 well i plan to it's like 15 weeks once a week and so work maybe work. next next time when we chat we'll we'll talk how it went yeah sure uh, basically i i, I want to you know I, i'll see how it go if it uh, if it uh, goes well i'll probably repeat the course uh like every again of course of course of course yeah maybe add some details since now it's basically yeah. here so i i mean i it's it's only the fear so i'm not i don't know whether or not it's going to really work i i worked on it a lot i mean i i wrote the whole course uh, last year and uh, then i was developing it uh, talking to people trying to understand you know how to use like how to add more details in it how to make it more complex and 
in the same time simple i mean not complex that you, there's lots of information which you can digest but complex in terms of well, it's it's sufficient enough to make you curious to make you really engaged in the process of learning mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so do we have any questions then do we have any because i'm losing light i know that in a few yeah we, 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 may end, we, we may just you know we may end in five minutes cool what else would you want to ask while well, you can still see me <laughs> I don't know. There, there was some some theme themes topics. topics, topics uh, yeah, topics, I want I want topics. I want to talk about English speaking community since. Oh yeah. yeah, yes, please. Of course, we, we didn't discuss it. Like you know, it seems the last time when we had a conversation, uh, I didn't even have this idea of English speaking community. Uh, mm, for sure, that's yeah, that's a new thing. It was just speaking clubs I mean, and uh, at the end of uh, December. I introduced this idea of English speaking community and then we start gradually, you know, doing And look at this, how the social media has grown. Yeah, social social media like the Instagram. But it's still like, you know, I think links down below. <laughs> I think you know, I I placed lots of hope in this uh, podcast. So I was uh, you know, I was thinking that I'm gonna do it every week and uh in half a year i'll get like uh you know 20 30 uh, podcasts and it's gonna attract the audience but it seems it's it doesn't work so well and i basically i uh, lost uh, like maybe 70 percent of motivation in like uh -huh. with making this podcast and i found some some ads, so i just simply uh, uh shifted my attention in different different areas so i'm working on like this course since i think that if uh, it's going to be successful, it's going to attract lots of people since it's like your project of teaching half a million people. So I don't aim at half a million, but I aim like, you know, maybe uh, like 50 people. Mm -hmm. But it's like real, I mean, it's a real, like real, the relation. So it's not just uh, uh, uploading something on the internet and... Uh, and that's all no it's uh having a group and leading the, this group uh like for for three months and then mm. another group and those people who will study like who really want to study more they may just join the club more, join the community and do something to develop the community as well mm -hmm. but no i see now it's not so like i i thought that it's probably gonna you know people will will do something on their own and now i see that it's 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 way way harder i mean it's very hard to persuade somebody to engage in a activity like you know do something on their own not just listen to what somebody else says to them to do mm -hmm. i mean in terms of developing the community do you have some ideas maybe how to make it grow it's for adults we we can either we need to find out what, what other english speaking events there are and maybe collab with them because why have five clubs when you can have one mega club that's that i think that two heads are better than one but <laughs> like i that. hope that helps yeah, to, bring, to, to, bring, to bring together 50 people <laughs> or you know 20 people yeah yes yes why not oh, and then not divide good. us into sections and no just like have us into groups mm -hmm. and if if, well, if you could trust me if you can organize five people you can organize 500 people it's not a massive difference yeah i understand I, I understand yeah but you know i want uh, to focus more on creating content so I think the community is going to really grow, not when we have just conversations. So you, but... you have to, yeah, but the events have to be document, documented. That's how you create content. You can, ha you can have tasks for people. So like who picks a task and then we have tasks on a ball and somebody has to, during the week, they take a video or they take a picture or they write up a text. They get to choose what they want to do, but it has to be about something and it has to be in English. 
Eh? If they want to, don't want to do it, then you don't have to. Next person, somebody will do it when you have a big group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we now have just Vitalina who works on the Instagram, and, uh, and that's all. <laughs> There's no nobody else wants to do anything. <laughs> to... Well, other people have their own lives, but yeah, Vitalin, look, so. You uh there's no voice there's some problem with voice i don't i don't hear you no 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 i don't hear you wait a second wait No. Can you say something? No, no. I, you, you, you. Okay, so we're we're, we're going to finish here. Okay, I got. It. <laughs> okay, so Andy, thank you for a conversation, guys. If you watch it, subscribe to our channel. Uh, ask some questions in comments, you know, and uh, that's it. See you. Bye-bye. <laughs>